Moving Earth out of its orbit or out of the solar system is not out of question in many of our minds. Can we really do that? The scenario may one day come true. In 5 billion years, the sun will run out of fuel and expand most likely engulfing the Earth. A more immediate threat is global warming apocalypse. Moving the Earth to a wider orbit could be a solution and it is possible in theory. But how could we do about it? And what are the engineering challenges? A nuclear blast near or on the surface of an asteroid or a kinetic impactor, for example a spacecraft colliding with asteroid at high velocity. These do not apply to moving Earth due to its destructive nature. Electric thrusters We have already been moving the Earth from its orbit. Every time your probe leaves the Earth for another planet, it imparts a small impulse to Earth in the opposite direction similar to the recoil of a gun. Luckily for us, but unfortunately to move the Earth, this effect is incredibly small. SpaceX Falcon Heavy is the most capable launch vehicle today. We would need 300 billion billion launches at full capacity to achieve the orbit changes to Mars. The material making up all these rockets would be equivalent to 85% of the Earth, leaving only 15% of the Earth in Mars orbit. So this is not even a possible to be done to push Earth out of the orbit. So next would be the sailing on the light. As light carries momentum but no mass, we may also be able to continuously power a focused light beam, such as a laser. The required power would be collected from the sun, and no Earth mass would be consumed. Even using an enormous 100 gigawatts laser plant envisaged by the Breakthrough Starshot project which aims to propel the spacecraft out of the solar system to explore the neighboring stars. It would take at least 3 billion billion years of continuous use to achieve the orbital change. But light can also be reflected directly from the sun to the earth, using a solar sail stationed next to the earth. Researchers have shown that it would need a reflective disk 19 times bigger than earth's diameter to achieve the orbital change over a time scale of 1 billion years. This might look possible to do so, but it takes billion years of work, so this is out of the moving list. And now the next one is Interplanetary Billiard. A well-known technique for two orbiting bodies to exchange momentum and change their velocity is with the close passage or gravitational slingshot. This type of maneuver has been extensively used by interplanetary probes. But what if we could perform a slingshot using something much more massive than a spacecraft? Asteroids can certainly be redirected by the Earth and while the mutual effect on the Earth's orbit will be tiny, this action can be repeated numerous times to ultimately achieve a considerable Earth orbit change. This may seem exciting but it has been estimated that we would need a million such asteroid close passes, each spaced about a few thousand years apart, to keep up with the sun's expansion. So again, this is also out of the league for now. So the final verdict would be, of all the options available, using multiple asteroid slingshots seems more achievable right now. But while it is theoretically possible and may one day be technically feasible, it might be easier to move our species to our planetary next door neighbor, the Mars, which may survey the sun's destruction and uh, SpaceX Elon Musk has a plan to do so. So what do you think? In the future, will the humans be able to move the planet out of its orbit 